Hey y'all, it's Shani, Certified Feline Training and Behavior Specialist with Wild at Heart, and here are five reasons why your cat probably doesn't like their covered litter box. And I'm gonna be straight up honest. I had covered litter boxes for over 13 years. I thought my cats wanted privacy. Once I learned better, I did better, and I made the switch. Number one, cats don't want privacy, they want safety. When a cat is eliminating, it's one of their most vulnerable times. They need to be able to see who is coming and possibly going to attack them. We should be placing our uncovered extra large litter boxes in open areas and not inside cabinets or drawers or under cat trees or anything that's going to result in confinement or the inability for your cat to see all directions as they're eliminating. Number two, covered litter boxes are not scooped enough. Research has shown that on average, covered litter boxes are scooped once every five days, which is ridiculous and disgusting. And they aren't scooped enough simply because it's out of sight, out of mind. People can't see inside the litter box easily, so they just forget to scoop it. And that is neglect. Number three, those covered litter boxes trap in the smell and your cats don't want to smell their elimination as they're going to the bathroom. Imagine if you had to use a toilet that wasn't flushed for days. Now imagine that your sense of smell was 14 times greater because that is what your cat's sense of smell is. Number four, uncovered boxes are vital if you have multiple cats because cats are super territorial and sometimes a more dominant cat will ambush a more submissive cat while they are in the litter box and they are literally trapped and they can't get out. This can cause further tension within your household and it can also cause litter box issues because cats are too scared to go into that covered box. If I have a client and their cats aren't getting along and they have covered boxes, that's one of the first things I tell them to switch. Number five, most covered boxes are too small and it really prevents your cat's natural movement as they're trying to eliminate. And those top loaders are very difficult for a lot of cats to get into, especially if you have a senior or geriatric cat, it can be actually painful for them to get into those top loaders. I am already waiting for the comments from people telling me that their cats love their covered boxes and I will just ask you how do you know that did your cat tell you that because if all you're offering are covered boxes they have no choice but to use what you're giving them cats will tolerate a lot of things but in my opinion cats should not have to tolerate a resource as important and vital as their litter box some people use covered boxes because they have dogs for example and I'm telling you there are alternatives. You can put a litter box on an elevated surface, for example, or behind a baby gate. Now let's talk about the study that was done that people reference all the time in defense of covered litter boxes. The conclusion of this 2013 study with 27 indoor only cats said that cats don't have a preference for covered or uncovered. But let me tell you some of the issues I have with this study. First of all, some of the cats absolutely had a preference in this study of covered or uncovered. I think the biggest issue with this study is that the covered and uncovered boxes they used were DIY boxes they made themselves from storage containers, which were twice the size of normal litter boxes. The second biggest issue with this study is they separated the cats. They either had solo cats living by themselves, or if they had multiple cats in a home, they separated the cats. Another issue with this study is that participants were instructed to clean the boxes at least once a day, when in reality, we already know, research has proved that people who have covered boxes, on average, <laughs> clean them once every five days. I don't support the findings in this study because of the details I just listed out. Let's give cats the benefit of the doubt and let's rely on our observations of cats' behavior in the wild. They never would be eliminating in a cave or a box or an enclosed area. Let's provide our cats extra large, uncovered litter boxes using unscented clumping clay litter. This is also proven what cats prefer. And let's scoop those boxes at least two times a day. And let's provide a litter box per cat plus one. So if you have one cat, you should have at least two boxes. If you have two cats, you should have at least three boxes. And let's remember, our cats rely on us to provide them what they need. We don't want cats to tolerate vital resources like their litter boxes. Get those extra large uncovered boxes.